This is going to be a quick video, guys. This is Blue Kool Aid coming at you. I'm going to clarify some stuff. Um, you guys made some comments yesterday about when we were looking at this yesterday that the whole thing was turning to the right, which would make <coughs> basically turning clockwise. So this peninsula goes up here in, in the next capture, right? And you would think that this would move the same distance, but it doesn't, okay? And the reason why is because this is, on the surface of the Earth, this is up in our atmosphere, okay? So, what I'm saying is, even though our magnetics are connected to other stuff and the Earth, this is up in the air and it's not down on the physical ground, okay? So even though this moved to the clockwise, and so did this, this moved a little bit faster than the rotation. Okay, so what I'm saying here is, if you look right here, see how it's on this line right here? And I'll go to the next uh, capture here to show it to you. So the appendage moved to the right, right, or the peninsula, I'm sorry. This, you see the separation between this line now? So it did move to the left, and it consistently did that, okay? It didn't move as far as what you guys were thinking it did, because I didn't clarify, and I should have. I mean, I just dropped the ball on that one. It wasn't intentional. It was just something that I just didn't mention. I'm, I've looked at these things for so long, I just kind of assumed certain things, and I shouldn't. So keep thinking that way, guys, seriously. I mean, you guys are pointing out some good points, because eventually... Some of this stuff may come into play and, you know, it may not actually be moving. So, this is moving. And it moves back and forth. So, I, I, you know, like I said, this is uh, magnetics. It isn't actual physical surface stake in the ground or something crazy, okay? It did actually move, just not as far as you think. And even this distance right here, from this line to that, you got to keep in mind, this whole thing is a continent. So, it actually moved a pretty good distance. So I'll go on to the next one too, and you see, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. That's the same image. That's a <laughs> crazy idiot. Anyway, yeah. So, so then, I, then what I did was I had some, uh, you know, I'm trying to explain to everybody that the sun isn't dark. It's just not putting off visible light. Okay. Is it putting off some visible light? I don't know. I couldn't say for a hundred percent sure. There's a lot more smarter people out there that are figuring that out, um, you know, like Dr. Albers. So, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know for, I couldn't give you any scientific explanation on any of this as far as the sun going dark. All I can do is show you an observation. So, this is my observation. The SDO only allows you to go back to 2014 because I think that's when it got deployed. But if you look at 2014 here to 2018, which is four years, you guys see the difference? Definitely brighter in 2014 than it is 2018. Now there's been some other YouTube creators, you know, and stuff, researchers have done something similar to what I'm showing you right here, and they, they're right, okay? Look at this, see the difference in those? And then that, I mean, that's that's pretty impressive as far as that's in, the, that's in the course of four years. Now, I'm going to show you the SOHO. Again, same thing, but this goes back 16 years. Okay? Look at the difference here, guys. Okay? If it's solar minimum causing that, man, we're not even at the height of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, I, I think that you know, I think it has something to do with all of the above. Solar minimum, stellar cores, planetary bodies, all this stuff coming into play. That's how I believe it is. It's my opinion. But I don't force my opinion on you guys. You guys know that. That's why I show you the observation. You guys can, you know, decide what you want to believe. So if you guys, if you just look down through here, you can see it's different on every angstrom. Okay. Especially, I mean, look at that. That's pretty visible right there. And the third thing I'm going to talk about here, guys, and this is all about yesterday's video because I had a lot of comments and stuff. Um, 
was this picture I got from Mike up in Michigan. I got two pictures from him. This one's in the west at 345 in the morning. There should not be any light source there. And I explained all this yesterday. So, but I started getting comments about, you know, how Tyler over at Secure Team 10 was talking about um, greenhouses could cause this. Well, it can, okay? Then the next question is, was this a greenhouse? Well, I got a couple answers here. First answer is, Mike from Michigan sent this to me, and I trust Mike from Michigan, okay? He has no reason to try to fool me. All right, I do believe that. And then plus I did my own research a little bit and Mike, and Mike knows that. I just wanted to make sure that the moon wasn't there. There weren't cities there. But what what's going to happen is he's going to take some pictures in the daytime just to prove that there's no greenhouse there, okay? And I'm sure he'll make sure that all these same trees and stuff are in the capture just to make sure it's, it's valid, okay? Um, do I think he needs to do that? No, I don't because I also have something else here to, to tell you That like I said, this is in the west Well, the other one he sent me was in the east That's at like 103 in the morning So basically what I'm saying is it would take a whole lot of circumstances to come together all at the same time to see this stuff on different days Not too far apart from each other on the day on the time frame but you're seeing it in the east and the west and so what i'm saying is for that to happen the odds would be just crazy okay <laughs> so in my mind it's like it's like man there would have to be two greenhouses there causing this at the exact same you know whatever 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 well that ain't what's going on here so i, I just wanted to clarify that to everybody um and i'll bring the picture as soon as mike sends them to me i'll i'll, I'll show them to you guys these are not greenhouses is what I'm saying, okay? Now, you know, um, I'm going to keep giving you guys updates on this, you know, mag magneto paws and all those things. I got some uh, different links to some different stuff today in an email, and I'm going to uh, start looking at those tools and trying to learn those tools also so I can explain them and see how you guys like them, and um, we'll go from there but <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run you guys over here to the swmf tool and show you that it's still acting a little crazy hasn't stopped for days guys all right i mean it just hasn't i don't think it's going to stop it might slow down but it ain't going to stop i mean there's there's that massive pressure on the backside still making the earth look like an egg um yeah and here's that one Okay, again, look, this, this should be moving to the, to the right at the same time this is moving to the left because this over here is the southern hemisphere and this over here is the northern, so that just makes sense. And I just want, I wanted to just clarify all that, okay? I really like the way you guys are thinking. It's keeping everybody on their toes and it really is, it's awesome. So, you know, and there's no, there's nothing you guys can say to me as far as asking a question that I'm ever going to think that is stupid, okay? Because the second you think you know everything is the very second that you quit learning anything. You know, if you know it all, then what, what do you have to learn? You know what I'm saying? So, I, I try to keep an open mind, you know, that's why I don't speak in absolutes here on my channel because I've been wrong before and I've, I come out and I publicly apologize and I do a correction so you know that's what we're working with here guys and I just wanted to you know clarify all that so you guys can have a better understanding um, and, and a lot of that was my fault I should have you know clarified just a little bit more and I didn't but um you know that's why I keep saying also that it takes the whole community to do this because it does I don't know why I'm stuck on that picture there but yeah and again remember I said that this graph down here they change it whenever they want to accommodate themselves you see that says 4.6 up to 5.2 like right here that's all the further it moved I mean and I guarantee you, you guys get on here tomorrow and you look at this 
all these you'll probably see like a 15 up here and like a two down here or something i still don't understand why they do that unless they're just trying to fool people i just don't get it but anyway um i just wanted to bring that update to you guys hopefully you guys have a little bit better of an understanding and i'll i'll try better to uh try to cover all the bases i i really do guys but I, you know and i get a lot of help from you guys and other researchers i really do i learn more from you guys than i ever will learning from you know trying to learn it myself so anyway god bless guys yeshua saves and uh you can drink this Kool-Aid.